Well, it's 643, and check out that pretty sunrise getting underway. Nice reds and oranges there. You know, the time changes are messing a bit with the sunrise and sunset times. And while the clock can change, some things never do. Among them, the fascination with those beautiful orange and red skies. Some pay particular attention to whether they see that color at day or night, like Mrs. Weiss's kindergartners at Pine Bend Elementary in Invergrove Heights. They need Jonathan to help them solve a mystery, which means it is once again time for... Stump the Weather Guy! Why is there good weather if the sky is red at night? Why is there bad weather if the sky is red in the morning? Very good question. They rehearsed that poem, and I know, Jonathan, I've heard you reciting that as well. They were very interested in that. This is Weiss's class. Good bunch of kids there. All right. Well, I've, I've heard that uh, it's a phrase, too. I've heard it the other way before. Uh, Sailors, let's see, red sky in the morning, sailors take warning, sail, red sky at night, sailors take delight. And the reason for that, Kim and Tim, this is an east-west uh, answer. Remember, the sun comes up in the, in the east. Mm -hmm. So as the sun's rising, if clouds are coming in from the west, the sun rays are bending, and that forms a red sunrise. And that's why, because an approaching storm is coming. At night, the sun's setting in the west, shining off of those clouds that are moving off to the east, storm moving away, so meaning that clearing oh. conditions are taking place. So oh, that's what it means. Clear as a bell. You know, you I've always it? heard that story, for, uh, that saying, and never knew why either. Now, it's not always true. It's a little bit dangerous, but but that's the that's the main answer. Okay. Very nice. All right.